everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be walking through the MoCA in downtown Los Angeles, the Museum of Contemporary Art. <laughs> I was not thrilled, but I did see some things that I've always wanted to see. I guess is the best way to put it. There was some stuff in here that was amazing and there was stuff in here that made me scratch my head and then there was stuff in here that I was just offended by. Um, and I didn't even shoot all the stuff that like pissed me off. The other thing is, and I'll tell you about it when the video comes up because I'm going to be like going over the footage with you here. The workers in this museum were very on me if I was filming for any length of time, but they kept saying like, you need to keep your footage under a minute at a time for copyright reasons. So whatever, I made a video of it. Now it's going to be on fucking YouTube. So I don't know what the fuck you want me to do. There are a, quite a few museums in LA, like more art museums. And then there's a lot of galleries on top of that. Um, in my experience, uh, the MoCA, which is the one you're going to be seeing a video of today, and the LACMA, um, both infuriate me a little bit. Um, I guess more so the LACMA. Whenever I go, like, and it's just like me going on bad times or whatever. Like, who fucking knows? But... Like, I'm very, and like going over the footage again, I'm like getting all pissed off again. So here's the thing. Like, again, not all art is for everybody. It just turns out that most of the time when I go to the MoCA or the LACMA, the art is not for me. But there were some gems that I'm going to talk about that I got super fucking excited over. So we will be going over that stuff here momentarily but i just wanted to let you know too that after we went to the mocha across the street is the broad and there like i didn't even know like we were going to do that but it was free that day so we just went and that was amazing so that video is coming but um there are some gems in this one as well art or construction site <laughs> that hasn't been cleaned up properly that is some tall ass building shit. <sighs> Dude, everything I do is content creating. I think it is. I think it's a really fucking good idea. I think you need to calm the fuck down. Where's this ramp? I'm walking on steps right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where is this ramp? I think what I'm gonna do oh, is turn this down while we're doing this. Greenery? Okay. This is probably a much better way to do this. Is this still rip? And there's the mocha sign. It's just a square, a circle, a C, and a triangle. Because they couldn't figure out a way to make a C look like a shape. So they just gave up because, you know, modern art. Um, I don't know, I'm just giving them shit. But yeah, so this is downtown. The broad is right up there on the left. Okay, so here we are in this place. And this just looks like some shit I've seen on a film set. You know, whatever. It's great. It's art. Fine. I have nothing against it. I don't like how these are all put together. It makes me not want to look at each individual piece, but you know, I didn't design this fucking place. So whatever, I'm not gonna bitch about it. Although I just did. This thing here, I really dug. And I think I even say on the video, I'm like, yeah, I really like this. Um, but yeah, that that's a cool, I can't believe how scraping is just all over contemporary art. Yeah, Reverberations was the name of this fucking exhibit. And, like, honestly, like, 
I don't know, I'm not going to talk shit, but like what drives me crazy about art, I guess, art installations like this. It's like, I'm going to put a bunch of shit in here and do it however I want to do it. And then you know what? Like it's going to have some sort of meaning, you know? And, um, yeah, whatever. Like, it's fine. I don't get it. It's for somebody. The thing that I hate about... Oh, this is going to sound really fucked up. What I hate about social activism art is that it's social activism art to like get people to think. But then you're showing it to basically the 1% who really doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff. But when they go to the museum, they feel like, oh, I just got cultured. Yeah. And then they're going to leave. And more likely than not, never fucking think about this shit again. But the person who made the social activism art made a considerable amount of money from the very wealthy donors of a museum so they don't feel so bad for being pieces of shit now is this a very heavy generalization you better fucking believe it is okay but that's how i feel and this museum had so much shit that i'm not saying is appropriation and I'm not even saying that, like, people hustling stupid rich people shouldn't do that because, like, fucking all power to you, dude. If, if you could fucking fuck some motherfucker out of a shit ton of money and, you know, like, do you. Like, I have no problem with that. But when you see a bunch of shit put together... I just feel like the whole reason why this exists and why this is here is to make a bunch of rich people not feel like pieces of shit. And I'm just, uh, I don't, I don't fucking, I don't know. So, um, I already got talked to by one museum person and I'm about to get fucking the riot act given to me off of the one who the camera just went by. Um, these pieces are okay. Um, there, there was one interesting thing that's going to be coming up in a minute. Um, but yeah, dude, the scraping, it is so, and I mean, it's been done for years. It's not like it's a brand new thing, but it's just like, if you ever want your painting to look like high art, Take a fucking credit card and just scrape a bunch of paint down one side and people go, ooh, that's high art. Look at that. That's gorgeous. This thing was weird. Kind of dug it. I think, too, if you want to be an artist that sells stuff or has stuff in museums, just make really fucking big pieces. Make giant pieces. Now, this is when I fucking lost my shit because I had no idea that they had fucking um, Mark fucking Rothko paintings in this fucking place. And these paintings here, I have seen these in books and online for fucking years and being in front of them was kind of breathtaking. Look how big they are. And like the thing with this, like what he says he wants you to do is he wants you to get as close to you can as you can to it and stare at it. And then it's like, you're inside the painting. Now, is that legit? Does that work? Probably not. But like seeing little JPEGs of these images for years and then being in front of 
a giant fucking oil painting like that. Um, like this one. I fucking love that one. And it's weird because I hate green in paintings for some reason. I don't know why. But this, like, fucking green stripe on this, like, just makes that painting. And I know I sound like a fucking douchebag, but I am completely <laughs> not fucking around with you at all. So just seeing, like, Rothko shit was, like... That blew me away. So that made me not want to burn this fucking museum to the ground. So that this like cleansed my palate and made me feel good. That is just amazing. And then there was this weird felt thing that I don't know what the fuck that was. Um, but you know, whatever. And here's a brick, you know, art. Um, oh, and then those people talking in the background, they were people who worked at the museum and they were fucking so loud and just cracking up. That thing was fucking awesome. Um, I can't remember who did it and the shot of the uh, plaque went too fast and I couldn't really get it. This is very Jackson Pollock looking, but not as good. So yeah, so there's that. You just like the, or like when you get latex paint and it's like their shit. Those are pretty cool. Not really a big fan of blue. It's so funny. I'm like, I want very stark minimalism. And I'm like, but I have colors that I like and colors I don't like. So don't use those. Now this, this, I don't even know if I should talk during this. This whole room like really started to piss me off a lot. Here, here's the lexicon of words that like hip people used. So all of you um, ivory tower fucks, you have no idea what these words are, but now you know. So at your next dinner party, you could drop one of these in front of your friends so they'll think you're cultured. I, I was like ready to fucking just absolutely lose my mind and I don't want to fucking do like this big fucking class fucking bullshit but when you hear the people in the fucking museum talking about this shit while they're walking around it's just like it makes you feel like you're in like a fucking episode of the Twilight Zone and it's like I'm all for art like bringing culture to people but when people use the culture of art just for, like, cocktail talk, it's like, ugh, it just feels so fucking dirty. It feels so fucking dirty. I have that on my bookcase right now. Look at that. Oh, my fucking God. Shit, if I would have known that I could have an art exhibit by just putting a bunch of my old books on a bookcase. And it's like the whole time I wanted to thumb through these books, but I'm like, oh, but they're in a museum, so I'm not supposed to, or am I supposed to? Like, what am I supposed to do here? I don't understand. Okay, now this is where I started to get really excited because that is an awesome piece that I've seen a hundred fucking times. Um, ball, I can never pronounce that dude's name. Um, and then this, the fucking Warhol, the telephone. Oh my fucking God. Like, the, <laughs> I saw that from across the room and I'm like, oh my God, yes. That's it. That's what I've been looking for. And it's fucking Warhol. So, of course, it is. That was really fucking cool. I can't remember who this is. And I can't remember who did the Bloomingdale's thing with the leg. If anyone knows, like, I couldn't get the plaque in the shot on that. Um, definitely let me know so if you know down below. And that yellow thing with the eyes I really liked. If you go to the Mocha, the room after this one really pissed me off and so I just stopped shoot well I stopped shooting because like I was getting shit for shooting in a fucking museum but yeah that's it so um, 
I hope you guys dug me talking you through me walking through the fucking mocha. Um, seriously. Like, there was some shit in there that I absolutely loved. The, um, the Rathco shit and just seeing that Warhol was fucking awesome. But I, I'm telling you, the video coming up about the broad is going to knock your fucking socks off. Okay? At least I think so. I was a pig in shit. Okay? And there was some stuff there that made me want to, like, just destroy art and make sure no one could ever create anything ever again. But there was so much other stuff there that made me happy that I just didn't give a shit anymore. Because, again, art is subjective. Everybody likes their own shit. Whatever. So, type hard. And I will talk to you all. Wait. Extra, extra. I think there's still more of these, at least when I'm recording this. There's still more of these on my Etsy shop for only a dollar. Don't be a bitch. Go get one. Talk to you later.